Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. What do I have? I have Ex Libris, that's actually from Le Maison de Whiskey, LMDW, and it's called the Selfish, Selfish Giant. They named some of the different um, bottlings after famous books. Oscar Wilde wrote a book, The Selfish Giant. Um, the Poke Castle, single malt Irish whiskey, single cast number 888142. We are at 51.1% ABV. This was, as we see here, distilled 1994. I'm going to say Bushmills. It is triple distilled. It was not Cooley. Well, where else? And it was bottled 2021. Now, there's a little bit of a story I have to tell here to explain why I have waited so long to do this video. Um, now, once a year, I do a online tasting together with my friends, uh, Marco Bon. If you've ever heard of A Dream of Scotland with a unique labels from Germany, he's an independent bottle as well as a shop owner down there by Cologne. Um, he actually... Um, and he and his best, one of his best friends, if not the best friend, uh, the Whiskey Druid from Scotch Universe and Best Dram and a lot of other things. We do, a, um, at the end of the year, a um, just a live stream with tasting sets and people can watch and so on. And we did that in December of 2021. And this was the highlight. All right. This is a 490 euro bottle. Wow, 490 euros. Just call it 500 euros, okay? Now, or $500. That's too much money for a bottle of whiskey. So it was in a sample pack. I think last year we paid for five samples with postage. It was somewhere on 45 euros. It was a fabulous evening. This was for me definitely the winner. And so many people did not have the opportunity just to have this one that I decided to buy a bottle, do a bottle share. And now um, there's the, my five sale have been in here for too long. And um, I just did our yearly or annual um, live stream together with Marco Bon as well as Michael, Michael, Michael Rick, the whiskey druid, um, druid uh, that was at the beginning of Jan middle of January. And I was like, oh yeah, they talked about it. Where is that? I never did a video. Ta-da, there it is. Whiskey base number 196982. Now, um, between Kirsch, this is a German exclusive, selected exclusively for Kirsch import here. Michael Rieck now works for them as well. He's been there for three years. And um, he helped select this, if I remember correctly. And between Kirsch and Le Maison de Whisky, um, there's a cooperation. They've done um, Amroots together exclusively. So if they are the importer of Le Maison de Whisky for Europe, then Kirsch has to go through them to get some special bottlings. And that's the case here as well. Now, um, there have been a few different Ex Libris out there from um, Le Maison de Whisky. This is the 27-year-old that I really, really, really adore. What am I going to compare it to? I'm going to compare it to the only 21-year-old um, red Irish whiskey I have at the moment, the Red Breast. Now this, look at the box, wood. You open it up and you have the nice bottle in here. So, Red Breast 21. Now... This is my whiskey I splurge on. This is not the whiskey I drink. This is the whiskey that I have a nice little dram at Christmas, either Christmas Eve or the first day of Christmas. Didn't get around to it this year. Um, what I did instead is on New Year's Eve, my wife um, drank and I drove, um, so I did not drink at all. When I was at home at 2 a.m., I pulled out the bottle and gave myself the privilege of a dram. Now, this bottle's... It used to be 129 euros. Now we're up to 170 euros. I know some people, some places in America, it's over $300 for this. Mind-blowing. And so um, this is something I can still afford. This is something I refuse to afford. All right, I did a bottle share. I am not going to drink this. This is not my price class. I tried to actually... Um, compare this to something. When I fly, I fly economy. I'm so sorry. All right. I pay myself my own way. I don't have a business that pays for me. I'm self-employed. And so I go economy. I can live with that. If I was upgraded to business, I'm happy. If I have to pay for business, I'm not happy. All right. Now, if I had to pay first class out of my own pocket, I, I, I would refuse to do it. If I had the money, I would be donating that money to some charity organization instead of having me fly first class. It's just not the way I 
tick. It's not the way I think. It's not the way I live my life. And so buying a $500 bottle of whiskey, 490 euros, is something that's not the normal thing. I only did it because a lot of people wanted to try it and so on. Um, on the list here, I can tell you, if you wanted to have a 10 CLs, which we would do, so let's stay here, this is 10 CLs, that would have been 67 euros. All right, so if you wanted five CLs, that would have been um, 35 euros. If you just wanted three CLs, do I have a three CL here? Yes, a three CL, that would be 22 euros. That's two not big drams, all right? So for just a little sip of this, you're like $11, $15. Now, for some people out there, hey, I'm gonna go pay 500 euros for my next watch, for my next socks, for my next tie. I'm gonna definitely pay more than 500 euros for my next suit. Um, for them, what's 500 dollars, euros? Peanuts. For me, it's not. And so um, this is something that I really, really want to splurge on. I'm not even gonna splurge on this. I'm gonna splurge on this is something I'm just going to not ever buy again. Now, there is a thing at Whiskey Base and it's a possibility to rate a whiskey. 40 people have rated this whiskey and I think this is the highest rated whiskey I've ever had in my glass here in front of the camera, 91.08. There's a rule of thumb, anything above 90 is fabulous and anything above 91 is even more fabulous. This is not something people have, uh, have said, oh no, the taste is just absolutely wonderful. 89, 90s, 91s, 92s, 93s, 94s. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is so amazing. I have had the privilege, for example, by J.J. Corey with Louise to have tried some of that 25 plus year old single malt from Bushmills. That's what this is. This is that lime sherbet moment that I always get. This is so good. This is something I could use as aftershave behind my ears and just be happy. This is something I could just absolutely inhale. I walk away and just be glad. 51.1% ABV, not noticeable. A little bit of spice, a little bit of wood, a little bit of honey. Lemon cake. Imagine there's such a thing as a lime cake. Oh, that's just perfectly balanced in all the. I mean, this is just this, this is just an amazing, amazing experience. So, oh, let's go to the red breast real quick. On the nose, it's good, but it's not half as good as this. All right, cheers. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> According to Ralphie, I had to leave it in my mouth 27 seconds for each year in the cask. Uh, second on the on the palate didn't make it. I wanted, my, I still want my palate, my 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 cheeks to just absorb that flavor. Oh, it really is! Is it's so good, and then it even gets better. Ah, fabulous, fabulous. This is an A whiskey in my book. Nah, maybe even A+. Plus. Let's go for an A+. Plus. All right, this is an A+, plus whiskey. I cannot find a fault on this whiskey. It's just mouth-watering, delicious. Wow. So, value for money. D-. minus. I, as I've said before, do not think that a whiskey over 500 euros is worth it. Now... I have owned a, um, I, had an, I had an Port Charlotte, bought a Port Charlotte, sold it in an auction after three years, made 5%. I think I lost actually 1% because of the dues and fee fees and so on. So I got the same amount of money. Let's say I got the same amount of money I paid for it. Um, I paid 489 euros for this 18, no, what is it, 14 months ago. And the price online is 488 euros still. So this is not an investment object, at least not midterm, short term. This is not something you can flip. 
Now you could put it away in your closet and come back maybe in five years from now when there is absolutely no 27 year old whiskey out there from anyone under four digits out over a thousand euros. And you can pull it out and say, hey, look, and maybe, maybe you'll be making some money on that. I don't really think so. I think this is one of those specialty bottles, um, 196 bottles. And for those that love this whiskey, they're going to buy it. For those of us that are a part of a special exclusive tasting, we're going to open the bottles. And otherwise, this is not something that normal, I'm going to say normal people, maybe like you and me, actually can just put $500 on the table and say, don't, and then go home and kill the bottle with five friends. No, it's not my, it's not my, it's not my life. This, on the other hand, the Red Breast, the 21-year-old, this is something I've had in my, um, my home now for five years, constantly buying a new bottle when it's empty. I share this bottle with everyone that comes over and wants to try it. I, I do bottle shares. People um, have their five or six, 10 CLs. I can't get any place else, so why not? Hmm. Hmm. The sherry, the pot still. Mm. If this is an A plus, this is definitely an A. This is what I'm going to splurge on. This is what I'm going to spend my money on and say, hey, 170 euros once a year, one of these bottles, that's what I can do. 500, no, that's a whole nother realm. 5,000, not even going to think about it. My question of the day is, what is your best whiskey ever your hallelujah whiskey the whiskey that opens the heavens every time you, you drink you you had the opportunity to drink it you heard the angel sing and it was the epiphany now what is your wow ever biggest moment of whiskey this could be it it's empty <laughs> it's gone that's why there was only a total little tiny sip. I had enough left for my German video and my English video. And now it's gone. But I just loved it. I loved every single last drop of this whiskey. And please write in the chat or in the comments down below. What was your whiskey where you adored and loved every single last drop? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing, sharing, telling others about this crazy guy over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys from all parts of the world. See you soon. Bye-bye.